Hello, beautiful people of Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Um, as promised, I wanted to make a video of a pretty simple exercise that you can do that will release oxytocin in your brain, in your body, and put you in that rest and digest state, uh, the ventral state, according to the polyvagal theory, where you can um, get in touch with your inner compass, make more clear decisions, uh, just be grounded and clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our imagination and we're going to go through our five senses. So the first sense that I want you to focus on is taste. And I want you to think of one of your favorite things to taste. Now this does not even have to be something that you actually eat. For example, I don't eat gluten, I don't eat dairy, but I imagine eating a golden brown bubbly piece of pizza and a, the cheese is bubbly, you know. Um, and I am eating a chocolate mocha cake a la mode. So if it helps, close your eyes, imagine, immerse yourself in this experience. What are you eating? And just feel that in your body. It was amazing to me. I thought, oh my goodness, I don't even need to eat these things. I can just imagine it and feel good. So, okay, that's taste. The next one is smell. Think of something that you love to smell. It could be an herb. It could be a certain candle. It could be um, bread baking, coffee brewing. It could be anything. Think of something you love to smell. Close your eyes and imagine that smell. Breathe it in. Whew. Okay, the next one is something you love to feel, your sense of touch. So this could be some kind of warmth sensation, softness, a person. What is something you love to feel? Imagine that you are feeling that right now and let your body sigh and relax. You might naturally smile. Okay, fourth one is what do you hear? What do you love to hear? Uh, something soothing, something happy, laughter, bird song, the wind in the trees. Imagine you're hearing it right now. All right, and the fifth one is something you see. So what is something that when you see it, you just feel happy? It could be a person, it could be nature, it could be artwork. Think of something you love to see. Okay, and I should have said at the beginning, or I could have said, that uh, it would be good to write these things down if you can't remember them, but you can do this exercise and you can change what you're thinking of each time. But the last step is that you're going to put all of these wonderful, lovely senses together into one scene. Okay, so for example, I imagine that with one hand I'm eating this chocolate cake a la mode and with the other arm I'm hugging my husband and running my fingers through his hair we're in the kitchen and my children are at the table laughing. That's the sound I love to hear. Oh, and there's a candle in the middle of the table that is burning and it smells like my grandmother's face cream. And then I look out the window and I see the sunrise coming up through the trees. So when I did this and I put it all together, I just felt bliss. And my uh, physical and auditory response when I'm in bliss is to go, ah. So that's kind of my representation of I'm in my ventral state feeling blissful. And that is actually the feeling of your body releasing oxytocin. So when you practice even imagining things that you love, your body releases oxytocin. And it's the same way our imagination can be used for good or evil. When we imagine worst case scenario, we imagine threats and things that are unsafe, you know, or 
illnesses, death, um, financial collapse, whatever we're imagining, worst case scenario, our bodies don't know the difference between our imagination and reality, and they release uh, adrenaline, cortisol, and those things attack our bodies when they're there for no reason and on a continual basis. So if you struggle with with that, you can take the reins of your imagination and throughout the day intentionally imagine things that you love, that you're grateful for, and the specific senses, and this will bring you back into your ventral state. So try this. Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear about it.